Hey guys, Megan here from The Tiny Moose, and I just wanted to share with you today some resources that we use in our homeschool for math. Now, um, before I get into it, I just wanna share with you what has not worked for us in our homeschool, and that is workbooks. Workbooks do not work for us for math. And this is how I learned how to do math was with workbooks. And we did the Kumon edition workbook for about two months. And my daughter was just like bored to tears, fighting me every single day on math. And because this is how I learned how to do math, I kind of thought this is how I needed to teach her how to do math. But that's the great thing about homeschool is that we can tailor it to how our children learn, not how we learn and also not recreating the classroom at home. So we ditched the workbooks. And now I will show you what we do in our homeschool for math for fun. And if you watch till the end of the video, I will show you the two resources that I use to make sure that we are hitting all of our marks for our homeschool for the year. So let's jump into the math books that we use that are not workbooks. We do a lot of math games in our homeschool and a lot of these books we use with math games. I've actually put a link in the description down below with all of these book resources as well as our homeschool game resources for math. So first I'm going to show you the books that we use from Usborne and these are all internet linked books. She is in first grade so these books can actually be adjusted depending on her the age group that you're working with and the last book I'm actually going to show you is for math for the whole family. So this is managing your money and these are internet linked and I'm just going to tailor this to her math level. We've got Usborne Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. And like I said, these are all internet linked books and these are beautiful books. So comparing numbers greater than, less than, equal to. Math Shapes, this is really fun. We brought math to life. After using this book, we made cones to put our popcorn in for movie night. So if, you're, if your kid is wondering, or you're wondering why they need to know so many different shapes, and it just gives you an idea of all the different shapes in the world. So there's a cone and we brought it to life, and there's another cone, we brought it to life. So you can use cones in construction and you can make popcorn cones for movie night. These are our bedtime math books, a fun excuse to stay up late. And I really like this because it has like wee ones, little kids, and big kids. So you'll be able to use these books for years. So you read like the little, excerpt here and then you go over the word problem together. Bedtime math. The boy who loved math. And these are just also some picture books that we like to keep in our homeschool. Now daily word problems. We do these together on a daily basis and I basically keep this just as a daily word problem um, to my daughter really loves logic and she likes being quizzed. I know right? So um, I like to keep these for our homeschool portfolio. Life of Fred. So when I first heard about this, I thought it sounded really weird and the pictures looked really super cheesy, but we love Life of Fred. So the way Life of Fred works is you go through the chapter, so you read the chapter, and then at the end, to get to the next chapter, you have to answer the questions. So here's the questions here, and then, so it's your turn to play. And then you answer, so then the answers are on the next page. So what we do is we actually just use a sticky note, write the answers on a sticky note, and that just becomes our bookmark. But we love Life of Fred. This has been the most fun for us for math in our homeschool. Monster Math, just a fun, another, another fun picture book. Eating Fractions, now I linked this in our Amazon storefront and this is such a super old book. So you can find an updated version of this in our Amazon storefront. But this is fun because at the end you get to make some food. Circumference and the first round table, there's a huge series of this. Real World Math, Zookeeper for the day. And this takes you through math that you would use as a zookeeper real world math dinosaurs and this is all the blue level there's also additional levels so math you would use as a paleontologist math you would use as an astronaut math you would use treasure in the jungle machu picchu
Odd Squad activity book. Now I got this one at Walmart. This was actually a request from Nora. She really likes Odd Squad. And I actually think Odd Squad is really good, a, a good educational show, as silly as it sounds. It is actually very educational. They use non-standard forms of measurement, which my husband has become a non-standard form of measurement in our house. We'll say, how many daddies is that? If something is 20 feet, we'll say, okay, that's two and a half or three and a half daddies kind of thing. Greg Tang makes some of our favorite math book, and this is Mind Stretching Math Riddles, Math for All Seasons. This is one of our favorite. Right now we are on, we just completed fall finale. So different ways to think about math and grouping things. The Grapes of Math, another Greg Tang. Masterpieces. <laughs> That's a fun one to say, masterpieces masterpieces um, I have also another Greg Tang and this is a really pretty book and like I said all of these are linked in our Amazon storefront I've also linked the Osborne books there but you can get those on the link below on the Osborne website and finally the book I wanted to show you was family math now this is for kindergarten through eighth grade and this truly is a family math book. It is for all levels of the family. And this we like to do in our morning basket to get our minds warmed up for the day. So this is Family Math by Jean Kerr Stenmark, Virginia Thompson, and Ruth Kazi. And I've also linked this in our Amazon storefront. The two books that I love to use in my home school is Home Learning Year by Year. I will do a separate video on this book, but I have just gone through and highlighted everything Nora needs to know for first grade. And I've also bookmarked it for her for first grade. But I'll do a complete review of this book. I do like to use this as a guide for my home school. Is how to design homeschool curriculum from preschool to high school. The last book I'm going to show you today is What Your First Grader Needs to Know, and this comes in every grade. And I've actually linked kindergarten through fourth grade in our Amazon storefront under math books. And I will flip to the math section of this book. So this is every subject that they need to know, and I like to just follow this as a guide and then use it to play games. So here's the math section. So it gives you suggestions for math manipulatives and ways to play. So when we're working on, say, place value, I'll get out the cubes and we'll play with place value with that. So I just like to use this also as a guide and incorporate manipulatives in our homeschool for this. So I've got math games and math books under our Amazon storefront. You can check those out. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We're going to play Dos, the second Uno game. I love that game. <laughs> Uno. We love Uno. So we are going to head off and play some math games. So leave us a comment if you have any questions. And also follow us on Instagram at the Tiny Moose. And check us out online at thetinymoose.com. The last thing I wanted to show you is what we include also for math in our homeschool, which isn't a book, but our subscription box. So any way you slice it, each month in our subscription box, I include a different math game. So this month it is fractions. And you can also create your own fractions and then you'll use Play-Doh to create a fraction of the pie. That's also something that we like to include each month in our homeschool is our subscription box math. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>